Hi, welcome back to Small Land. So in this one, I'm going to show you everything new, basically. In my last video, I showed you the catapult, and this is a great way to get to the historian. So we're going to fly over there now. I'm going to show you his exact location. Took me literally about two or three in-game days to find this dude. I looked everywhere around here, but this is pretty much where it was. And see them steps in the background? That's what you want to be going down. I literally run round by that lizard, didn't see the steps. I must have done that two or three times. What a numpty. But yeah, thanks for that. Someone's finally pointed it out to me and I went exploring. So come down the steps. Um, I tried grapples actually to get to the historian, but they seem a bit rubbish. It'd be good if they were more like zip lines because the grapple's good from like going from high to a low location, but then when you get wings, it kind of renders it useless. So it'd be nice to like grapple up. This is what I tried, but there is water in front, so be careful. But that's his location up there. I'm going to show you how to get to it. But first, I'm going to show you how to get the pyrite some weapons like this axe so you want to go right at the steps now there is tons of bugs and flies and whatnot down here so just be very careful or put it in safe mode like i have done just to whip this video out quick for you there is water like i say be careful of that and you want to come around the corner just here this is a fancy looking like tomb by the way and right over here by the little bit of CLS you want to climb up here and then in this little nook and cranny up here hidden away is a old orac bench investigate it and then you will unlock the recipe to craft the pyrite axe and maybe even the sword I can't remember but moving on go left of the steps so if we head back to the steps when you're at the steps take a left and then you will see this plank of wood you want to climb up here and i'll show you all the steps now to the historian and like i said before you might want to just put it in safe mode because there is a lot of tons of stuff around here there's flies there's bugs there's also there's also beetles i was trying to say but don't be ashamed chuck it in safe mode or be a gangster and just smash the hell out of everything while you're doing it so again there's more planks and stuff to climb up so make use of all these obstacles what are you thinking of this tomb area let me know in the comments i think it's amazing to be honest and we are still in early access so literally this game is going to open up it is developing nicely i've got to say so there's plenty of pyrite on the walls if you want to um, gather that. And as you come around here, if you look down there, that's where we got the um, pyrite weapon and the old workbench was there. So jump over here onto this ledge and work your way around the outskirts of that massive door. And then come around here and you just follow in all the little ledges and whatnot. And then you want to come up this other plank of wood. Again, there's tons of cockroaches and stuff. So just be careful. Make sure you've got plenty of meds and stuff. If you uh, are not a pussy and doing this actually the hardcore way. <laughs> and then you come over to this nice little place. And this is where the historian is going to be located. Loving the toy soldiers, by the way. That is a nice touch. And yes, I did use marbles to knock them over as a kid. And whoever knocked them all over won. They was the, that was the days. So here we go. Historian, this is where you are. What a legend hiding in such a tight location. Never going to find him in a game of hide and seek. Speak to him. He would tell you where the uh, trader is. And also you can get the pyrite outfit from him. So it's not bad, it's got very good armour on it, but to be honest, I'm not going to rock that. And I won't, well, I am going to tell you, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot it didn't come with wings. I jumped off and nearly fell in the water just below me, but you know, I edited that bit out. So he will tell you to get a hornet, you will need to get these colon spiders. So what you don't want to do is whack them until you see two of them and that means it's dropped its abdomen. 
think that's how you say it, abdomen. So pick the abdomen up and you want a few of these to so get smashing. Once you've got a few, then you want to get the stone oven and that's where you want to make the horny treat. So um, you need three abdomens to get a horny treat, a petal and two seed oil. So craft one of them or a couple and then get tapping on a hornet. So once you've tapped the hornet up, you want to keep spamming E and then you will have him tamed. Now the hornet is amazing for getting around actually. He's good at vertical lift. He's quite amazing at that. Although the stamina just drains really quick. It would be nice if we could get more stamina. And again, the health is rubbish. The same as all the other mounts. The um, health is absolutely rubbish. And I'm going to show you his attack in a minute. Um, his attack ain't great either. Um, but I'll show you these spiders. So if you right click, he will do this like charge up thrust. And as you can see, it didn't really do much. And then you can spam left click for a quick attack. And that doesn't really do much either, to be honest. I think I killed one spider and they nearly rinsed me. Oh, two spiders, maybe even three. And then they absolutely rinsed me. <laughs> so I had to get the hell out of there. Get out of dodge real quick. So he is good for that bless him now we're going to go down to the merchant or what i call the trader he's only been here a day and i've not got his name now down but you can't ping him for but i think he moves around and that's why you can't ping his location so i ping the stag beetle instead or the king stag whatever it's called don't know his name either so come over to this location it's good with a flyer if you haven't got a flyer then you want to come through the grate that the um old man mentioned right there look there's a little grate with the bars so park up your mount somewhere don't let them follow you it's annoying when they follow they push you out the way like this so um then you can see what he has to sell he sells coins um he also sells metal parts and that is how you get your metal parts for your buildings. Um, he's got decorative vines and flowers too. I'm going to check them out. Let me know if you want to make a video on that. Um, and that is the merchant. He also gives you, you need pyrite and he will give you the um, scroll. So all the unspoken tongue, whatever it is, tomb. So um, once you've got that go into your inventory make sure you've got it because you need space he does mention that so the tomb of the unspoken old tongue once you've got that you can go back to old man historian and then he will reveal what secrets are next so a little bit of a spoiler if you don't want to look look away now but he basically tells you about the forbidden forbidden lands even and this is what's next to come there's mention of like the owl and giant birds that can just nap you up. So maybe we we'll get like robins or something. That would be awesome to tame one of them. Um, and there's like medicine. So maybe we might get paracetamol or a bit of cowpole next for healing ourselves and the king, of course, or whoever was sick. But thanks for watching. Stay safe. Set 10. See you on the next one.